Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys 10 tips on how to handle college. This is a more smaller college edition video. I don't know if it'll really be about bigger colleges, but it still might need the same tips that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. So let's get on with the video. You should always have a planner with you. I got mine at Walmart and you can either get them at Bath and Body Works or Target anywhere. It doesn't have to be an expensive planner. It's something that you can either write down your assignments, tests, or quizzes. It's always good to write down your assignments or upcoming tests that your professors tell you. That's why when they first say the test or assignment, I quick get out my planner and write down what's going to be coming up next. I do about 30 minutes to an hour of assignments or studying for a test and then I take about 20 to 30 minutes of going on my phone, looking on Instagram, watching YouTube, doing something so I can have a mental break for myself. You don't want to be studying for hours and hours and hours. You want to go get something to eat or go on your phone or hang out with your friends. Something that gives you a mental break for a couple of minutes. This step is crucial. I would print that PowerPoint out and take lecture notes when the professor is teaching in class. Because whatever professors say, that can be on the next exam. So when you are writing the PowerPoint that they're presenting you, you're missing the key lecture notes that they are telling you. That's why I always think it's a really great idea to print out the PowerPoint slides and then write their lecture notes when they are presenting them because they will add additional information that will be on the upcoming exam. It's very important that your professor knows that you care about his class. Emailing them and going to their office hours is a great way for them to know that. They will see that you care about your grade and that you want to do good in the class. You might build a relationship with them or they might help you out when your grade is getting low. You are paying lots of money to go to college. You should go to the different buildings that your college provides. You might find your own personal spot or a place to relax before your next class. But it's crucial to get out of your dorm room building and go to a different building so you can do homework or study for tests. It's okay to want help. My college provides a math center, a writing center, and tutors. The writing center is there for them to proofread over your essay or assignments. And tutors are great so you can get that one-on-one -on -one experience. The math center is there for you for any like math questions you have or any problems that you're stuck on. Depending on your college, you might have one or more options of your meal plan. On my meal plan, I have $100 in flex. It's always good to use your flex money. You can basically go out when you're hungry after dining hall hours and go get some food. You can get any snacks like chips, pretzels, and then you can also get found drinks. Also, Jack's has ice cream, milkshakes. I usually get an Oreo milkshake. That's my favorite. You just gotta make sure you're persistent on the money that you're spending every day. And I already spent $40 on that 100 so I only have $60 left of my flex and I still have two months of my semester to go. Most colleges or universities provide a bookstore for their campus, but you shouldn't do that. I saved so much money just going on Amazon and not even buying it from the campus bookstore. I rather rent books and just ship them back to Amazon than buying them and just, you know, having them as empty space. So please, even if the campus pushes you to go to the campus bookstore and buy the textbooks you need, just go to Amazon. It'll be so much cheaper. I can't stress this enough. Just go to class. It's not that hard. I have like an hour and five minute classes or like two-hour classes and they fly by so fast. If you miss class, you might be missing out on important lecture notes or information or even quizzes. And I know for smaller colleges like me, they even count like class participation and attendance points. So if you're not there, you're going to be marked absent and you're going to be losing points that are crucial for your final grade. So please, please, please just go to class. It's not that hard to pay attention and just listen. <laughs> It's a perfect opportunity to meet new friends or even staff members. Also, if you're involved with a lot of things on campus, it's going to be really good to put on your resume. 
and it's also really good to just get out of your room for a while. And some clubs just meet once a week or once every other week. It's not that bad. And you never know, you might meet your best friend there. So those are my personal 10 tips on how to handle college. I don't know if these tips will go for everyone that's going to college because I go to a college that's only about like 1,200 students here. But I still think it's really good to learn about further information that you might know for when you go to college. Thank you guys for watching and I'll be back next week for another video. Bye!